Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to another video and today I am doing another coffee and canvas episode And if you guys don't know what this is basically I do some kind of paintings whether that's watercolor oils acrylics anything that requires a canvas of some kind of sort and then I drink some coffee and talk about a certain top topic regarding art. So today, if you probably can't see that well, but in my mug is actually water because it's really late at night, so I didn't want coffee. But um, today's topic is about art block, which we will get to in a second once I talk about what um, the art materials we are using are today. So the art material that I am using today is acrylic paints with a painter's knife. And if you guys don't know what this is, is well, mine is plastic, but you can get them in metal too. And they're just like these little plastic kind of knife shaped uh, tools and you can get some really cool abstract um, looks with paint just by the way you push it and mix it together and I've used these knives once before in some kind of class but I use them with oils and this time I'm using them with acrylics because I just don't have any oils oils are just better when you're doing knife work because they don't dry quite as fast but these acrylics actually turn out pretty well too and lastly, before we get into the topic for today, I am painting Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. It's this really beautiful uh, place with icy mountains and lots of forests and cool lakes, and I wanted to paint that, so that is what I'm painting today. I will throw up a picture right here for you guys in case you were wondering what it looked like. Okay, so our topic for today is art block. And if you guys don't really know what this is, it's kind of what artists use to call like not getting any ideas or inspiration for their drawings. And this is a pretty controversial topic um, throughout the art community because there's a lot of people that believe it doesn't exist at all and there's a lot of people that believe it does exist. So I'm gonna kind of give both sides, give what I think, and then kind of how you can overcome art block if you ever experience. So on the side that doesn't believe that art block exists, their more point of view is kind of laziness like it either comes from laziness or it's kind of like a burnout so you've been painting for so long or you've been drawing or making videos or whatever that it is it could be a creative block um and that's kind of your burnout and that's why they call it art block i guess and then the people that do believe in art block is more so like they just can't get ideas so they'll like sit down for like hours just trying to get ideas of what to draw or make and they just it just doesn't come to their head. So my opinion on art block or creative block or whatever you want to call it is kind of somewhere in the middle. So on the side where it's like they just can't get of ideas, I don't quite understand in my opinion just because of the thing that we have is internet because you can literally Google anything and you could get any images or just Google anything and get inspiration and ideas. At least that's just for me. I don't find trouble getting ideas because I can just Google what to draw or uh, creatures or something like that and just get inspiration from things I see online, um, mix them all together and eventually find an idea that I really like. But a reason that I could stand by the art block belief that like it does exist is like the fact of perfectionism. I'm one of those people and I think like artists all the time deal with this where they're almost afraid to start because they're afraid that it'll go bad like it won't meet their expectations and that's kind of a thing that artists in general deal with is expectations like they have um like a thought in their mind of how it'll turn out and how they want it to turn out and sometimes it does sometimes it gets it's even better sometimes it's not as good and they have this fear that it just w won't be as good so then they just don't start and that can kind of be the whole art block thing which i do kind of agree with that statement then on the side in which they don't believe in art block i don't quite stand with the statement of um like laziness because i think that if you want to be a non-lazy artist and actually get work done, you kind of have to teach that on your own. I don't really count that as art block because you can still get ideas. You can still get the work done. You're just being lazy, I guess. But the thing that I do agree with that side is the creative burnout. So there's a lot of times where um, maybe I'm doing like an art challenge or I'm making YouTube videos or stuff. We're going to talk about Inktober. So Inktober is a 30-day um, art challenge where you do an ink drawing for 30 days every day of October and for some reason Inktober just gives me this burnout well yeah they give you prompts so it gives you ideas but 
for some reason just like the necessity or requirement of drawing every day just kind of makes me feel burned out and it's almost forced so i think for myself drawing almost has to be more of a natural thing and not like a required thing and then with my art videos i like literally every youtuber gets this but just burnout from making videos and making the same thing over and over but they always try to take it to the next step so i'm constantly thinking of how can i make my videos better because I'm trying to get out of this whole kind of boring stage of my art videos where I think they're just kind of the same thing over and over. Um, and I'm working on that right now. Like I've got, I've just bought these like backdrops, which you can see in this video. And I'm working on a bunch of things that will hopefully come in 2019 to make my videos better because it'll hopefully get me out of this creative rut and make me more excited to make videos. Now I'm just going to give you a few ways that you can deal with deal with art block or creative block or whatever it is um, some may work for you some may not it just kind of depends on yourself so you can try these and let me know how it goes for you so the first one that I recommend is kind of like a limited time challenge I've done this both on like my film channel and over like on my art channel so the art channel there's this um, challenge that kind of goes around where I think it's it's kind of past now but it's the 10 minute one minute and 10 second challenge and this kind of just forces you to just like just do it so you don't have to like fear of getting started and not being perfect because that's kind of the challenge for it to not be perfect especially in those shorter time frames so make like a really small time limit maybe like five minutes and try to make the best piece that you can and just just go because it'll make you it'll force you to get started and lower expectations next is to do it every day this for me didn't quite work but i know a lot of people that it did so either whether that's drawing or painting or making a video or anything just do it every day and it'll get you into a routine so that it makes it seem like you just have no option except for to do it so this might work for you it might not just let me know another thing that i actually like is prompts so you can get books um like this 300 drawing prompts book which i actually bought and i'm gonna make um, some videos with it um, you can use these prompts to get ideas easily or things like inktober which give you prompts for 30 days and this will get you out of a creative rut and then my last idea is just to take a break with anything especially if art is like your job or career and you're doing this for every day is to take a break like you need a break just to like let your body rejuvenate and let yourself get your ideas flowing again and be excited to create. So if you're forcing your yourself to do it every day and not letting your body take a break, you're just not going to be excited to do it. So just take a break for like a week or two and then get back into it and hopefully you'll have some sweet ideas. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this coffee and canvas episode. I actually really enjoy making these videos because I can kind of talk about whatever I want and just rant while you guys watch my cool painting. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome art videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.